I'm happy. This week's episode of uh, Vlogger in Paradise is talk about your happiest poker moment. Anyway, my happiest moment, I think, goes all the way back to 2007. I'd only been playing bar games poker, so I actually wasn't very skilled. And because, uh, you know, the quality of play in free poker is not very good. So in 2007, I go out to the SEMA show. It's an automotive trade show in November. And uh, I take my 17-year-old daughter and uh, we're staying at the Mirage. I go down to the poker room and there's a $75 sit and go. I was real nervous, but you know, the dealer floor guy there uh, tell me oh yeah come on jump in here it'll be fun so I jump into the game my friend Matt his mechanic and my daughter are all waiting on me to go to dinner I'm sitting there playing playing badly because I don't really know how to play very well in one hand it comes around to me and I have queen five offsuit and I look down and I'm thinking, oh, queen, you know, that's a lot better than the 8-3 and 9-2 and other hands I've been getting. So I've got a queen that I'm going to go ahead and play. And I limp in with a queen. Sure enough, a guy raises about 4x, the big blind. And uh, the guy next to him shoves all in for less. And... Uh, comes around to me and so anyway I just figure well what the heck it's I, I might as well get out of here and go eat dinner so I said okay I call and uh, we flip over our cards and the first guy has ace king the next guy has king queen and of course I have queen five so I'm just totally dominated and uh, no face cards come out but a five does come out I end up tripling up, and uh, the guy with Ace King was just livid. He started calling me every name in the book, told me that was the worst thing he'd ever seen, and I was horrible, and and uh, he hoped I was playing cash afterwards because he was going to take all my money because I was such a bad player. Why is he doing that? I don't know. Be yep. your friend. Be your friend. Are you, are you, and you know. He's right. It was a bad play and uh, not something I would do now, but uh, at the time I didn't know any better. And I just sat there and he was ranting and raving and I didn't say anything. So the next hand after I triple up with my queen five, the guy that had the ace king was so much on tilt. He jammed all in. I don't even remember what cards he had. I know it wasn't aces, kings, or queens because I woke up with pocket jacks and uh, he jammed all in another guy went with him and I called with pocket jacks and uh, I knocked two players out another hand or two later I knocked another player out and I'm down to heads up with the guy to my right he looks at me and says I don't suppose you'd want to chop and I just I had a mountain of chips I didn't even really understand the concept of wanting to chop and I said what's that mean and he said you know we just kind of split it up and I didn't know anything about ICM I'd never I don't think I don't know if anybody had heard of ICM back in 2007 but uh, when he said do you want to chop and I looked down at my mountain of chips I just said no I think I'm good and then it was one or two hands later I took him out I mean I think he had three or four big blinds so uh, I took him out, I won the tournament. Uh, my friends, my daughter, were real happy. I'm happy, I'm the big hero. I've taken down the tournament. I think it paid 300, 350, something like that. My friend Matt, big fan of Brazilian Steakhouse. So after I won the tournament, I said, well, let's just go to the Brazilian
Brazilian Steakhouse I'm buying. And uh, I think last year they closed it down. It's reopened under some other name. But so, uh, like most recreational players, I, I won and I blew it almost all on dinner, but it was well worth it. So I think, you know, that was my happiest moment because my daughter was there, my, my friends, and they just thought it was just the greatest achievement in the world that I won, even, even though I won pretty much on pure luck. It might seem crazy what I'm 